Revelation 369. From the 7th of April 1938. Creative Spirits. Free Will. All thoughts are born from eternity. An army of creating spirits fills the infinite expanse of heaven. But man is given only the possibility of animating a very small particle in infinity with his thoughts and ideas. Everything else is subordinated to the world of the creative spirit beings, which, always carrying out the will of the Lord, are untiringly active in the world domain. Matter in the whole universe is subject to these beings, and what is willed, happens. Such an army of these spirit beings also now surrounds the earth and intervenes decisively in all events on earth but also leaving space and power to the forces that work against the will of the Lord, because the earth must be influenced from both sides, because otherwise the most important thing in creation would be eliminated. Free Will A being cannot develop to godlikeness, if its deeds and actions only has to be as a higher being determines it. It has to keep the self-determination over itself. It must be exposed to both, the good and the bad power, and then be able to express its own power of judgment. An inner effort must begin, to be at the service of these or those powers. But the army of spirit beings, which looks after you, remains immensely active in its work. What you take for granted in nature around you and above you, is constantly produced by these beings who at the same time also thereby intervene in your innermost being, because they form you and constantly direct your thoughts towards creation. They give you, as it were, insight into their activity. They cause you to be viable in the first place, precisely through the sphere surrounding you. That you must recognize that you can form from yourselves, in an environment created by God, what you are striving for. Imagine the question, which of you humans is only given a one-sided possibility of perception? Which of you cannot recognize good and evil at the same time around yourselves? Which of you lacks the ability to distinguish good from evil? So where nevertheless both are present, also humans will be able and will have to decide necessarily for themselves what they desire. And so the free will is first active in order to clarify the desire of the soul. And again the great blessing is evident from this, which an intimate connection with the spirit beings surrounding you entails. The more trustingly you subject all your thoughts to these, the more surely you will be guided and the clearer your thoughts will be able to perceive good and evil, you learn to recognize and turn completely of your own free will to that which guarantees you the highest perfection. You must then become perfect when you are guided by the most perfect beings who can ever surround you. You can never fail, because the power of good will have far more influence on you than that of evil. And that is why you will also certainly enter the way to eternal life when you devote yourselves to the powers and forces which carry out their will of the Lord, you therefore willingly submit yourselves to the Heavenly Father. Amen.